Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, often tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. This is my third wheel of the year dingle bottling. This time I have the Balatane. It is a single pot still, the first time the other two were single malts. And we have triple distilled Irish whiskey matured in bourbon cask and Cherez cask finish with 52.5%. Now this is whiskey base number 230136. So, um, if you do not know um, the Ballantine, Ballantine, Ballantina, I've heard both online here, um, is actually the May 1st and begins, um, marks the beginning of summer. So at least when they put, could put the crops in and when the water, water, weather turns nice. All right, so, 5,500 bottles of this were produced. A conspiracy theory. The very first one was this one for October 1st. This came out with the, um, I always have to help me know how to say this. Sawin. And this was? Biltene. So Sawin. So this was on the October 1st or October 31st, I'm sorry. Um, October 31st, and then we had the, um, I also pronounce this, oh, this was 10,000 bottles, the um, La Libride, which is um, also 10,000 bottles, it was the rye, so this is Moscatel, I don't have that anymore, um, and this has 5,500. Now, I have a, I have a conspiracy theory, theory, Graham Cole and the people at Dingle can, of course, Contradict me, and I hope I'm wrong, but if I look online on Whiskey Base, this is still available in a lot of stores. To be honest, um, it is in a total of 34 online shops still available in Europe. If I look at this here, um, the La Libride, it's still in uh, 16 with, uh, Whiskey Base listed stores. And um, this just hit Germany yesterday. Um, this is at the moment in a total of 11 stores and 10 of those are in Germany. So what I think might have happened is the following. They put out 10,000 of these, they put out 10,000 the Lille Bride, and uh, they just didn't sell like they wanted to. Now if I'm a retailer, I am going to buy um, maybe 6 or 12, that would be one case, two cases of these, and put them in my shop. And then um, hopefully in three months when the next bottling comes out, I'll have sold out of these, have a space in my shop for the next and for the next. Now there will be a total of nine bottlings. I don't think most shops, exceptions are there, I'm sure. They're not going to have on their shelf after a year and a half, two years, all nine expressions is waiting to be bought. So this is something that we collect a series, bottle for bottle and so on. And so um, they may have realized, uh oh, it's, we're selling six to 7,000, but there's a couple thousand still in the shop. So why don't we just reduce the size of our batch? Now, there could be other reasons. It could be just, hey, we didn't have as many Shiraz casks out there. It could be another reason because this, the other two were single malts. This is a single pot still. Single pot still means at the moment still at least 30% malted and 30% at least unmalted barley with maximum 5% of something else. That they just said, hey, the single pot still is rarer. The next one will be 10,000 again with a single malt. Who knows? All right, so if we take a look at these two, um, there's not much in this glass on the right-hand side. I'll tell you why in a moment. That is that is a very, 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 very dark whiskey. And I must commend Dingle. Finally, they have on the box and on the bottle these words. Non-chilled filtered no added color. I've been mentioning that fact now for a year. Maybe it takes a year to change a label. But thank you. Thank you. Not even this one, not even the Le Libride had the non chill filtered and natural color on it, even though they've been that the whole time. But hey, we need it on the labels. So now, my theory is, once again, theory, conspiracy theory, that these were a particularly wet 
red wine casks with Cherez um, wine in there. It might actually have been like of a European oak. It, it smells like it, tastes like it. Now, I thoroughly enjoy a good dingle single pot still. I get Hawaiian punch automatically as, as, uh, as a tasting note. I like Hawaiian punch. Mm. Now, um, this whiskey, however, has Hawaiian punch and red wine. And Hawaiian punch and red wine. And it's like Hawaiian punch, red wine. Oh, look, Hawaiian punch, single pot still. Yay, red wine. And So it's one of these Jekyll and Hyde moments for me. I really, really enjoy the uh, single pot still taste, flavor, um, viscosity, everything about this. But that Cherez in my whiskey, in my single pot still Irish whiskey from Dingle, eh, I'm not really, really, at the moment so far, I'm not keen on the casks that we used to finish. Here, and uh, the reason why there's hardly any in my glass is because over here, the Moscatel, they were sulfur. There was too much sulfur in here. There might be a minuscule amount of sulfur in here, maybe even a negligible amount, all right? So I don't get much sulfur, that matchstick sulfur. But there's a tiny little bit of something in there. And the little brida, the rye, ugh, rye finish, meh. Not really, really my, my cup of tea so far, all right? So question of the day, what do you think the next um, bottlings from Dingle will be? I do know the names, and I'm going to make a major fool of myself by even trying to pronounce some of these names, because I just can't speak Gaelic. All right, so in the coming limited editions of the Wheel of the Years, we're going to have a Lunasa, we're going to have a Grienstadt um, and Grenrein, we're going to have a Knocht an Eric. We're going to have a Greenstadt an Zamrat. And we're going to have a Knocht an Foher, as well as a Le en Deolin. Now, the last one is actually for a bird, and um, that doesn't belong to the eight different symbols of the year of the, of, of the wheel, the wheel of the year, but they're going to do that anyways because on the 26th of December, we have the Wern Day, W-R-E-N, and um, they celebrate that and, and that in Ireland, apparently, and it's a symbol of the past year. Okay, so you, here you heard it first, all the mispronounced names of the following of the, um, the upcoming Wheel of the Year. I'm, I interviewed Graham Cole and his wife in uh, Dublin. The audio is terrible. I'm so sorry about that. Um, and he said, Jason, you're going to have even more problems pronouncing the names in the future. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm having, I had problems already. All right. So I do like this. This is a good C to C plus whiskey on the nose. Cheers. Mm hmm. 50.5, Le Labrida, 50.5, 52.5. There's a tiny little bit of heat. There's an, an enormous, and for me, an enormous amount of red wine cask influence here. Too much. Um, I would like to have more of a pot still moment. Uh, someone wrote just recently on one of my, on one of my, um, I did a review of Redemption Rye Rum, and he wrote down, Jason, you're the most conservist, conservist, you're a con conservist, I can't even pronounce anything today. Uh, you're not a liberal, you're a, you're, a, you're very old-fashioned, let's use that word here. Because um, every single time there's a somewhat different, new, innovative type of finish, Especially with rye, I go, mm, no. And um, <clears throat> he called me a radical Republican. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not. And even here, this is a radical, strong finish. Where it just doesn't do it for me. Now, I can take this down a little bit. It's not really the alcohol the problem. It's just the intensity of the, of the flavor. 
that as it's almost as if I had a glass of whiskey and I poured some wine in it. It's with water I get that very very minimal amount of sulfur. Diluting this product down to 43-45%, it gets even creamier in my opinion. It dials down, dilutes down a little bit of that red wine influence, that Cherez. Um, I think the cast was just too wet and they're like, oh, whoops, ah, look what happened, oh no. Um, and I would have been tempted, me, I would have been tempted to actually put in a couple, three, five, maybe 20% of on first fill bourbon barrels that were not finished just to dilute that down. But nope, they didn't do that. All right, so this is gonna be a C to C plus, depends on my day, C normal with water C plus, value for money, 94, 95 euros. Ah. D plus, this is not something that I can highly recommend. I have not been able to recommend a single wheel of the year product yet i hope i will i hope we get something really special that tickles my heart and i can buy two or three bottles of it and just start bunker it away stow it away store it away and just use it for future tastings because this this bottle was um, i did a bottle share within hours it was gone i could have done a second people kept on asking do you have do you have do you have no 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 and um yeah i do like the how innovative graham cool and dingle are but this doesn't hit my palate like it should. This, if I try this one last time, unfortunately. It's almost like biting down on a match. I really did not like that. And I think, at least from my perspective, Whiskey Jason here, this almost ruined the whole range for me. I was worried that all of these will have sh uh, sulfur. Luckily, this was the only one so far that was undeniably sulfur, and I think the other ones will hopefully be better. We'll see. All right, Whiskey Jason here. Which finishes do you think Dingle should bring out next? I think they should bring out their port and their um, rum and their um, Amarone and their... Um, and Burana, and there, <laughs> I don't know what. All right, so we'll see what type of casks, finishings they're going to do for the other products here. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, tell others, and see you very soon. Whiskey Jason, bye-bye.